All right, everybody, it's Father's Day. We're sort of forcing a launch. It's a bit cold, it's a bit wet, it's a bit cloudy. And we got Big Doug there and the rest of the Rocket team along with me on a rainy, windy day. So we don't know how long we're gonna be here, but we're gonna get as many off as we can. So let's get into it. As usual, we'll start with a windsock. This one's just meant to go up about 1,200 yeah. feet to see what yeah, the I wind is doing water, up in the sky. and it's coming down fast. No, I got it. There it goes, and it is on the school. Okay, so we gotta kick that. We gotta kick that. Yeah, we so Casper, what have we done with the launch pad after that test? Well, since the rocket went so far over that way, we've adjusted the angle so it's about six degrees this way. Okay, hopefully that'll be enough. All right, this is another windsock. They're named after countries in Europe. This one's France. It's meant to go high, um, so probably about 1,200 feet, um, which is higher than most of the other rockets will go so we can get a sense of the wind speed. Uh, if find out if Casper's adjustments to the launch pad are enough. All right. Three, two, one. Fire. That's good. I've lost it. Where is it? Stuck in the ground. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Where? Yeah, you totally yeah it's dark. Long it's right dark. there. It punched the ground and the fins came flying up. Oh. Wow, I totally lost it. All right, this one's named after Finland. And as you can see, it is a tube tail. Um, we'll see how this one goes. Um, Unique, uh, fin design. Why, thank you. Um, it's it's only supposed thing. to go 700 feet, so we have a not good idea we might get her back. All right. Three, two, one. Ooh. Ooh. Ballistic. Oh, it deployed. I think we might get that one back. I think yeah. it's. Will we? I don't no, think it's going to make it. Where'd it go? Trees. Ah! It went off to the side. I bet you I could forge that out. Yeah, well, we'll see. Into the forest. All right, now we're getting ready to launch the rockets that are meant to perform. That last one was meant to, but it didn't. Um, this one's called Armenia. It's a rocket that survived the last launch. It went up as a C last time. It's going up as a D this time. We'll see if we get it back again. It's deployed. I heard it deployed. No. It's really moving. I think we're gonna get it. Well, maybe. Recoverable! Yay! All right. 
this one is called Iceland. It's a D16-4. It ain't gonna go high because it's big and low power, but it will hopefully get just enough speed up to be stable. Oh yeah, I hope so. At launch. All right, let's load it up. All right. Three, two, one. Of course. That was nice. Yeah, that was good. Not very high. Does that be yep. wide? Yeah. I think wide. Trouble is, it's gonna go out in the road. I think it might land right here. There we go. Three. The f <laughs> damn it! Only tree. <laughs> three. Oh, oh man. Okay, this um, well, this one looks like it's a little bit bowed, and that's the distortion in our fisheye lens. This is about to go a thousand feet. Oh, it's another D rocket. It's thin, it's long, it's windy. Not usually a recipe for success. <laughs> Three, two, one. Very fast. Yeah, boy, that went really went. Went really high. And it's deployed. That was straight as a friggin' arrow. You made a double G shot. I got it. Air pressure so fast. It's coming fa down faster than you think. We're gonna get it. Yeah, we're gonna get that one. Oh, well, we're going to get it in pieces and, pu and dust. All right, here we go. This is a uh, duplicate of the one that we've just put up. It's just a bit thicker. Um, it shouldn't go as high, um, but it should perform the same. Let's see how it goes. Go ahead. Three, two, one. Wobbly as hell. Yeah, it wiggled. Deploy. Deploy. Yeah, it's coming along. It's fast. Oh, it just got hit with a gust. Oh, it was didn't hit a car. I know. Oh, I like your I like your new. Uh, what do you do? Buy that lights and cut it to fit on your rockets. What are you talking about? Your, your we print it out. Man. Your thingies <laughs> to put it on your rail. Oh, rail locks. Uh, all all 3D printed. All 3D printed. Yeah, printed. So all, like, 3D all 3D printed. Oh, printed yeah. This <laughs> rocket is entirely synthesized from extruded plastic. Okay. This is number eight. It's Italy. It's a D125. Yes, I know. 12 seems to be smaller than 16, but it's a 24 millimeter rocket, which means it packs a bit more of a punch than the last one. Bigger rocket, about 950. Let's give it a shot. We're getting into the big stuff now. Yeah. All right, I'm just going to let everybody know this is an instant launch igniter, so it will just go after one. Three. Super stable. Yeah. Uh, uh oh. It's ballistic. What's it doing? <laughs> What's it doing over there? It did not deploy. How the hell did it get way over there? It's Steven. All right, now as you can see, these are getting another D12 seven. That's still it. Only going to go about 740 feet, but we hope it has enough energy to clear the launch rail. Let's hope. All right, let's put it on the launch pad. <laughs> Number one. All right, this is another instant launch. 
Igniter, Casper, hit it. Three, two, one. Awesome. Beautiful that launch. Awesome. If it deploys. Uh, deploy, deploy, deploy. Oh, Yay! Yay! We're oh, gonna get this right one. Back to us. Right back to us. That is awesome. Boom! Awesome. There it is. That's hey! hey. Not bad. That was awesome. Is this a passenger vehicle? This is a passenger vehicle. <laughs> In this area here, it's meant to be the house of the person driving the rocket. The okay. first thing that hits the ground, yeah, if it yeah. doesn't deploy properly. Yeah. This rocket is a, uh, a second launch of this rocket, so it, it should have a star in it, but I forgot to put it on. It's a D-12-7, 980 feet. I got a marker if you want to put a star on it. And let's see if we get it back <laughs> one more time. So far, yes. um, we'll, uh... the second launch is usually the death okay. knell. All right, get ready for an instant launch igniter. Right in there. Uh oh. I want oh, it deployed. Now, will it clear the tree line and get back to us? I don't think it's going to. It didn't deploy, did it? It did deploy. Oh, it did? But I don't think it's going to make it over the line. And it didn't. It's into the forests. You want to angle a little closer? Yeah. All right, we're getting, uh, we're getting serious. This is a meter long. Um, it's an E98 rocket, so that means it's here. twice as powerful as the rocket we just did. Um, and it looks as though it's a little rickety, but we're going to give it a try anyway. That's what Let's see, see what happens. All right, it's another instant launch ignition E rocket. I'm going to back off just a little bit. All right, Casper. Three, two, one. Oh, it deployed. Did it? Yeah, I got an eye on wall on it. It's heading right at me, actually. Here comes a gust. I think it's going to be in a lower field. Lower field, so retrievable. Right on. What? Boy, that thing did a corkscrew going on. It up. did. I think it was. I think it detached itself from itself. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This is else. another one that could have a payload. Yeah. And this is a E22 um, Quest rocket, um, or E24. It says on the side of it. This is a maiden voyage on this one. Maiden voyage. Here we go. Let's give it a try. Uh, sure, sure. We've now used a delay launch igniter. Ready, Casper? Are you ready. Yeah. Hit it. Three. Oh, that one almost burned at the stand. Oh, oh, half. Yeah, yeah, it lost. Parts. The nose separated from the body. There's part of it. There it is. Bang. Where's the front? Front half landed on the edge of the parking lot. All right, both halves are recovered. 
All right, this is the Peace most. To resistance. Yes, this is the most powerful rocket engine we've ever deployed in the modern history. We've got the Kosovo. It's an E15W4. I know it seems like it's a smaller number than E24, but it's an Aerotech. Should go 1,300 feet. And look how big that puppy is. I doubt we'll see it again. Yeah. Adios, amigos. All right. Instant launch, Aerotech 15. Casper? Three. Two, dun, dun, one. Oh! oh. 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 I saw it. It oh. blew up in the sky. Oh. Oh, oh my god! That almost got you, man. We lost track of that piece. Yeah. Well, well that was exciting. Quite the uh, we lost track of a piece of that last rocket, which almost struck Ralph, but thankfully we missed him. <laughs> we'll need to be ago. much more careful in the future. Anyway, um, we're going to wrap it up. We're not going to be driving around picking up rockets this time because we're in a school field, um, but we'll try to pick up a little bit of the epilogue. All right, that is the Bergfeld rocket team's forced cold air, kind of wet launch, where it mostly went okay, um, except for that one that exploded in the sky and almost hit Ralph. Um, pretty successful day. We'll see you in two to four weeks with another batch. Say goodbye, everybody. See you later. Bye.